we knew there was gonna be a brand new Pokemon reveal today and we have it right now let me introduce you guys to Gimmagool let's take a look all right so if you didn't see yesterday's video there was a website that was put up called chest.pokemon.com uh, and it was like a treasure chest and throughout the day basically the last 25 hours the chest would fill with coins they added on like a little cry to it for the Pokemon's cry and now officially it has been tw I think 25 hours since the reveal and we have the reveal of the new Pokemon so they go on to say on the website here that there's investigations of this newly discovered Pokemon the Pokemon is called Gimmagool uh, it appears that Professor Willow and Mr. Jack are investigating this and that's kind of why it tied into Pokemon Go they go to tell us Gimmagool's chest form shows him inside the chest so he has a chest form and then I guess he has like a regular form which is the one that he's not inside the chest so maybe he like searches for these coins but He's, uh, he's very small, 11 pounds, he has rattled as his ability, he's a pure ghost type, um, so nothing too crazy there, but, you know, obviously we, we believe from leaks that he's going to evolve. And then he's got his roaming form, so it doesn't give us a category type, height, weight, or ability for the roaming form, which maybe means that, like, you can't use him in battle in the roaming form, which kind of aligns with the leaks, right? Like, you can only use him while he's in the chest, so actually super adorable. I really like this guy, you know, like I said, I understand that some people aren't maybe as big of a fan of him, but I really like him. There is a video on the website that says play video, so we're going to play that, but I think only the Japanese one works. Like, the English one says it's private right now. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. We got the Rotom phone with the chest. Oh, they made it, like, very Pokemon Go. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Go. Hey, Jacques. Thanks for sending me that video. I think this might just be the Pokemon I've been hearing so much about. Trainers from all over have reported sightings. I've got to say, Professor, I do I'm like this high Ghoul's showing up in your neck of the woods. Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul. So that's oh. what this Pokemon's called. Could the treasure chest it hides in actually be part of its body? I like it. It also carries the same type of coin trainers have been finding. That's right. In Paldea, I've seen some Gimme Ghoul that hide in treasure chests and some that don't. Huh. Hmm. The ones hiding in chests are new to me. The fascinating part is, as far as I know, no one's ever caught a gimme ghoul that's not in a chest. The oh. second you get near, they hightail it out of there, dropping a coin as they flee. I don't think we've seen them act like that over here. Interesting. You know, there's actually an interesting story about gimme ghoul and its coins. Can you tell me the story? Here's an old, strange tale involving a mysterious coin. Once upon a time, a young girl was out on a walk when she picked up a coin. Clink. Clink. There's another, said the girl. Oh boy. Wait, what's that? Oh boy. When the mysterious being noticed the girl, I love this little guy. Through a nearby he may be my favorite Pokemon in this gen. I don't the know. The <laughs> girl hurriedly chased after it and came upon a treasure chest. But the mysterious being lurked nearby staring intently at the girl he's adorable the treasure chest opened quietly and whatever was inside there's another one met the girl's gaze so i think we do have to collect 9.99 as well though. into the treasure chest to evolve it one i want this thing on my team so bad she picked up another coin and put it into the chest are they gonna tease this evolution Two. once again she picked up a coin and put it Is into she the doing chest it about the 999 Three. times Eventually, haunted. the chest came to be full of coins. 997? Yep. Yep. 998? Yep. There's also a theory that this thing's Pokedex number might be 999, and it evolves into number 1000. That's another thought that's going around right now. Tell me he's evolving. Huh? What am I doing with all these coins? The girl wondered. Now who or what had been so intent on gathering them? This is interesting. What an intriguing tale. It might help us learn more about this Pokemon. I hope so. It seems to suggest that Gimme Ghoul hiding in treasure chests don't move on their own. They just manipulate people into gathering coins for them. Oh. On the other hand, Gimme Ghoul without treasure chests don't seem to manipulate people. Perhaps they're able to go searching on their own. It's very odd for Pokemon of the same species to behave so differently, don't you think? Since they're behaving so differently, 
Maybe we ought to consider them separate forms. What do you think? Should I, we name them? I think that's fair too. Good idea. Let's see. The chest form? Chest form? Seems fair for the one that hides in chests. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's very straightforward. As for the one that walks around, how about roaming, roaming form? form. <laughs> I like it. So you've never heard of anyone catching a roaming form gimme ghoul in Paldea, right? Challenge accepted. Yep. Give me on my well, karate number, my riding. They don't I'm away. going and I'm getting them. You said they just tag along near people who've picked up coins. Right. If trainers out here use that behavior to their advantage, they might be able to catch it. What an exciting oh, research yeah. and opportunity. Apparently from the leaks, Is if you catch it, you, you get a ton of about coins. Gimigool? I'd be happy to tell you everything I know, and I'll do what I can to help you catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul. Thank you. And I'm sure trainers will also appreciate your help. Now, about those coins. Uh, whoops. There's the bell. Time for class. Sorry, Professor. Gotta run. Before you go... Oh, see you later. Oh, well, that's Jacques for you. See you Always later, dancing bro. to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> I ought to send him a thank you gift for his help with Gimme Ghoul. Maybe a nice postcard. A postcard? And the research on Pokemon continues. That was cool, man. I like that little I like that little trailer. It was longer than I thought it was gonna be. Um let me just take a peek through that Japanese one too, because there was a Japanese post as well. This one's actually like much shorter, so I'm curious what it's gonna be. Oh! This is like a, a full-blown actual trailer. This is so much different. Let me, hold on, let me see if this is in English too. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is in English. So we're gonna see the actual gameplay here too. Yeah, it's the same trailer, okay. Pyro looking good, Lycanroc. With the chest, yo, that's, this is, I, I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited about this guy. A new Pokemon discovered in the Paldea region. He's got Protect. He's obviously a Ghost type, so this is a Shadow Ball. That looks like Power Gem. He better get Payday. Oh, look at him just chilling on the sign. He's super tiny. And there's his roaming form. I love it, dude. I love it. And another update from Cerebi saying you'll be able to connect Pokemon Go to Scarlet and Violet in 2023, but you won't be able to send Pokemon from Go directly to Scarlet and Violet. However, just linking the two will allow you to get a roaming form Gimme Ghoul in Pokemon Go. So not huge benefits from linking, but there will be some sort of functionality and connectivity between the two. So that's your full Gimme Ghoul reveal. From the leaks, we know it's going to evolve when you get 999 in that chest. I'm personally excited about this dude, and I definitely want him on my team. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Gimme Ghoul. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new, and go to TeamShiny.com for some sweet merch. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.